in this video I'm going to show you that you can use an AIO cooler designed for the 1151, 1200, 2066, AM4, TR4, CPUs and motherboards and use it on the newer style Z69 LGA1700 motherboard. Now just to show you the difference in the size of the CPUs, here's the newer one, 1700, and this is a 1151. So, you know, a big difference in CPU size, much longer now. But what we're more concerned about is the mount. Now, I want to say straight off the bat that a mount like this is going to help you out a lot because you're able to adjust it accordingly in order to fit. This is how you install a CPU on the Z690 1700 motherboard pretty straightforward just like the old one except now it's just a little bit different how it clamps down as always you leave this cover on push down pull out lift up and then this one here lifts up from this little lever here you lift it up same principle follow the triangle all right there's a triangle on here there and there there's a triangle on the bottom left hand corner and you have these slots here you got to follow the slots okay there there and then there Line it up. Okay, once it's lined up, fold this one back down. Yep, yeah, fold it back down. And then, once you have it down, that cover is gonna come right off, like so. Okay, and then, make sure this is down, make sure that this first lever is down, and then the second one will come over the top of it up the top here like so and then simply pull down and clip under that's it cpu installed now the trick of getting the mount to fit so as stated earlier you want to use a mount like this that way you're able to adjust it because the mount holes are just a little bit bigger than the 1151 so what I do in this case is I use the one off a gigabyte mount mount. Now you can just buy ones like this that are cheap, two dollars, five dollars, depending where you get it from, and it will still work. The aim is to get a mount that is adjustable. That's what you want. All right, so now in order to get this to fit, what we're going to do is line up the top ones first. So we'll get one in first. Okay, there we go. And we try to get this in. We see that it doesn't go in, so we will push that until it almost fits and then adjust accordingly. There we go. Then we get them all in. And now it's just a matter of getting these bottom ones in. So just have a look at it. You take a look under here. And you see where the mount is okay and then you just put it in accordingly there we are that's in and now this one I can see that it's just it's off by a fair bit so I'm just going to push this in until I get it in and there we go now we're in now that we're in we can see that we can try to line it up more now so looking at this we can see that it fits really well like that okay and that's it you've got your mount on so now all we do is simply mount the AIO cooler now this is just for test purposes so I'm not going to use any thermal paste but obviously you would put thermal paste before you do this next step and install the AIO cooler we'll grab the cooler now you just need to install these two here which go on from the top and then the screws go in at the bottom as you can see there it's going to be different for different AIO coolers let's mount this on this is just for test purposes I'm going to do a quick test so we'll peel this off Okay, now we'll install it. Just because we're testing, I'm not going to use any thermal paste, just so we can test it quickly, okay? And here are our mounting screws. Because I can hold it flush 
to the CPU, I know this is going to work. We'll put in one screw first, just to hold that in place. We'll put the one opposite it, diagonally, here, so we'll hold it in. And the good thing with this type of mount is that the screws can move in and out a bit because it has a slot so it can go back and forth a bit so you're able to really adjust it and that's really good that's what's really going to help with using an older style AIO for the newer style uh, LGA1700 AIO CPUs twist this on all the way and now I'm going to screw this down just so it's snug don't have to go all the way down because we're just really just testing if you take a look at this carefully you can see that these are all straight and that's what you want you want them straight you don't want it on an angle because that's going to thread it and you don't want you don't want that to happen that's really good that they're all pretty much straight and your AIO cooler is installed now just to ensure you that it does actually work and it will cool look at the spacing on this look at that spacing it is directly on top of the CPU so it will cool and it will work as you can see right there no gaps at all so that's definitely going to cool and it's uh, definitely going to do its job alrighty so we've got power and now we have a power button up here so we'll press that and voila okay it'll turn on and I can already see 23 degrees perfect and you can see it has the logo for thermal take and then it's got 24 degrees perfect so there you have it how to successfully use an older style AIO on the LGA 1700 series so the takeaway from this video is that if you want to get your AIO cooler to fit, you need to start off with something that is able to be adjusted in and out so that you're able to adjust it and get it to fit into the, the mounting holes. There you go. Well, and there you have it guys. How you can successfully use the older style AIO cooler on the newer style LGA 1700 CPU and motherboard. Thanks again for watching. See you in the next one.